a little bit in that third quarter by, uh, did you expect Atlanta's used to come on so strong in that, that third quarter? Oh, look, I mean, this is a team that's very aggressive. Um, and they're on their home court. And, you know, obviously, they're always dangerous. And really, it comes about makes and misses. They made a lot of shots, and we missed a lot of shots. So, um, you know, that's, that's a game. It's a game of momentum. <laughs> you talk about momentum, you know, Atlanta. You know, we, we find ourselves in the wrong end of the 15-0 run in the second. What was going right for, for Phoenix, you know, during that? Well, I thought well, I thought it was one of our better games where we moved the ball in that first half. And any time you move the ball, have good inside outside attack, and usually you get, you know, open open looks. And we knocked those looks down at a high percentage. The focus is usually on Griner to defend her, but you had a lot of players step up on the secondary side. Uh, who were some other players that you thought really had a good performance today? Well, I thought Candice Supreme. I mean, she really carried us yeah. on the offensive end, and um, just with the you know put the ball in the hole number one, and you know isolating where we could, especially when Brittany you know didn't get deep position. I thought Henry did a good job of being physical against her and taking her out of those positions where she could score. Um, but you know, Leonie Mitchell, I thought she stood up when we needed to, to score some buckets too, and, and uh, made our offense work. Because you know, DB, she's our Dawna Bonner's our best scorer, you know, and she has zero from nine. But you know, we just had to find a way to win, and we did that. It wasn't our prettiest game, but uh, we got the W, and that's all that matters. You said that it wasn't our, the prettiest game. It seemed that in the first first part of the game, both teams had a lot of trouble getting things started. There was yeah. a lot of fouls that sort of, sort of sort of ground down. How did you you know talk about that a little bit? Well, I mean, it's just a part of the season, you know, midway point and you're just trying to get the energy that you can and, um, you know, get mentally focused to, to be able to execute at both ends of the floor and, you know, sometimes that's what it's about. It's more about, yeah, the focus and the effort, but, uh, you know, once you get it going, you just hopefully ride it. You finally have your full team back together, Griner's after suspension. Do you feel that this is the unit that you're going to have for the rest of the year and can carry you through the playoffs and beyond? Yeah, definitely. That's, and that's what we plan. I mean, unfortunately, with BG being out those seven games, I thought our record would be a little better than uh, what it is now if she was back. But look, I think we're in a decent position. But now it's, you know, we haven't, we've struggled winning on the road and uh, we've won the last two. So we're at, you know, five and five now. So that's good for us. But we have to, you know, we just focus on one play game at a time. And, and we've got Tulsa coming in on Tuesday. We've just played them very familiar. And, uh, we have to make sure we just get ready for that. But, you know, this is a team. This is a team that we'll, we'll go forward with, you know. We have faith in this team and hopefully everyone stays healthy and we can continue to get better.